get started uh, for this portion. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining. This portion is going to be the public hearing for our proposed 2024 operating budget for the town of Talking Rock. Last month, uh, if you were at the meeting, I briefed to the council um, my recommendations for uh, next year's budget, and we can go over it right now, but the public hearing is set. <clears throat> now for uh, any comments or questions, anybody, if you'd like, we'll do that for a period of time. If there's no questions, um, then we'll close out the public hearing, okay? So I'll go over it real quick and then uh, allow anybody to have any questions. If you look at our budget, <clears throat> it breaks down into five different sections. We have an operating budget uh, for the town hall itself and then uh, maintenance and tourism overall, but you'll see some of the breakdowns. <clears throat> if I start with the town hall first, and again, just a reminder, this is the proposed budget for 2024. All, this budget will come in effect 1 January 2024, and it will go for the entire calendar year. <clears throat> for general expenses under general administrations, the town hall, we, uh, as you can see in this line, there's a 2023 budget. This was the cost, the recommended changes, and then this would be for the budget. <clears throat> so, as you can see, maintenance that we do, various types of maintenance in the town hall. This was the budget. We recommended to increase it. New budget, $7,000. Maintenance personnel, that's our maintenance contractor. <coughs> uh, that's $24,000. It's staying the same. That's $2,000 a month. Council compensation, this is a new budget line item uh, for 2023 budget. This is wrong. As you were, there was no compensation in the past. So new recommend recommendation was $4,800, and that was already voted on take effect for one January and that was 150 for the mayor and 50 for each council member <coughs> the telephone these are utilities there's a reduction uh, from last year it'll be seventeen hundred dollars power stays the same twenty five hundred propane we use propane in this building twenty five sixty no change water five thirty two no change we do audits each year, uh, so we budget it for 2000 no change. Membership dues, this is a reduction. We don't really have membership dues, <clears throat> but we did not want to delete it. We kept it. Uh, if we do have membership dues, it would have something to do with our council members or chamber. chamber. There you go, the chamber as well. Yeah, we do a membership uh, for the Pickens County Chamber. Advertising, <clears throat> no change, 2000 And that's all the advertising that you'll see in the local paper. <clears throat> Office supplies, that's what we do. We reduce that to 1000 That's the run to day-to-day -day operations within the town. Legal and professional fees, uh, we have a dedicated law firm that supports the town. There's no change with that. That's $5,500. <clears throat> the town clerk uh, last year was fourteen four. We've increased it to eighteen hundred. That's uh, fifteen hundred a month. Uh, eighteen thousand, as you were. Eighteen thousand for the year and uh, fifteen hundred a month. Training, training for the council members, town clerk. Uh, that's two thousand dollars. No change. Court services. We deleted this line item. We have to pay for court services, so that's a reduction. Insurance. We increased that to 7,000. Postage, we reduced it to 100. Wards and recognitions, no change from last year, it's 2,000. Building inspection fees, we have capped this at, as, as, as you were. We have increased this to 2,000, but there's an asterisk. We're still uh, working that as a council and that we will have uh, an outline for the first of the year of what our uh, permit fees will look like. Donations, uh, this is new. The town uh, does uh, various donations, so we left that at 500. <clears throat> we have a, a lease that we've always had, but we never used it, or we never outlined it in our budget. 
<clears throat> we've added that to be 400 a year. Septic, uh, we have a septic system in the town, uh, town and also um, the uh, park. And does that include the brewery as well? Or no, this is actually <clears throat> just for the town hall. Okay. This is three hundred dollars four times a year. Yeah, yeah because of this, because of the sa size of our uh, town hall and the uh, inability to have a proper septic, we've had to increase that to have it more frequently. Uh, so we have a company that comes out, so we budgeted twelve hundred. And then library, no change, two hundred dollars. So last year's. Uh, Budget was 76, 432. We've increased it by nine thousand dollars for 85, 492. Any questions about any of that? That was just the town hall. Just the town hall. Okay. Highways and streets. Uh, we have street and light and power. Budget last year was 3,500. No change from this year. Repairs and maintenance 1,500. No change for this year. <coughs> Subtotals for that 5000 no difference in cost from 2023 to 2024. <clears throat> Any questions? Garbage services, we added this because we didn't have it broke down, I think, adequately last year. But we de deleted the landfill fees. We never do that, so that saved us $500. We do have uh, a dumpster and services uh, and of various places within the town, so we've increased that to $4,500. Pickup services increased it to $3,000, <clears> and supplies increased from $150 to $500. So last year's $5,150 increased to $8,000, difference is $2,850. Any questions about that? Parks and services. Um, water, 500, no, uh, no increase. Power, increase to $200 from last year, 1500 <clears throat> Improvements, maintenance, it's 2500 no change, 2500 for this year. Septic services, 500 uh, no change, 500 for this year. Maintenance on our vehicles that we utilize for um, Jerry as our contractor maintenance. No change, thousand dollars, and then fuel for the equipment that he uses, lawnmower, the tractor, <clears throat> various things, thousand dollars. So an increase in park services of two hundred dollars uh, from last year. A new one that we broke down was the train car uh, for everybody's. Uh, if you're not aware of this, the train cars are owned by the town and leased out. We lease them out to uh, Talking Rock Brewery, and the brewery also rents the caboose for storage. <clears throat> but I wanted to outline some of the improvements that we're responsible for, the water, the power, improvement, maintenance, and septic services. These are all new. We've, in the past, we've had it, but I wanted to break it down so it was more detailed in this budget. So as you can see, uh, recommended changes, additions were 500 for the water, 1500 for power, $1,000 for improvements and maintenance, and 500 for septic services. That in total increase, uh, we didn't have that last year, 3500 for this year. Any questions? Tourism. <clears throat> Tourism. Uh, for power for any events that we have. <clears throat> there was no change. We had $600 from last year. It'll be 600 this year. Heritage Days, uh, we planned $10,000, and we're going to stay that for 2024 budget at $10,000. Website um, it is increased for 2024, uh, and that was $1,600 last year. It'll be $3,200 this year. Video meetings. Uh, describe it. For marriage, okay. Yeah, for each week. So for the council meetings. Thank you. Yeah. That's uh, a new addition for $600. And then our holiday events for all the things that we do for Santa, Easter, and anything else that we come up for 2024, uh, no change. We have $2,000 budget for that. Increase uh, from last year to this year, $2,200. Any questions about any of those? Okay. 
<clears throat> so 2023's total cost last year 107 582 uh 2024 total projected cost 125 392 an increase of 17 810 right now our operating budget is 300 323 thousand dollars so that puts a perspective in our projected cost based on what our revenue is today any questions or comments? Okay, it's 7.12 right now. Um, I'm gonna wait till 7.20. If there's no questions or comments, we'll close out the public hearing. free to talk among yourselves talk about it. <laughs> by law I have to do this so please forgive me you know give it adequate time someone might be parking their car right now to come in and talk about my budget so we've got to give them the opportunity to do that so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and get started. That, in, that ends uh, our public hearing for the uh, 2024 budget. So now we're going to turn over to move right into our council meeting. Uh, so we'll call the meeting to order. Uh, first thing, if you could please stand and stand towards the flag. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, again, thank you very much uh, for everybody coming tonight. I appreciate it. Love to see it when we have a lot of folks, a lot of new folks, so we appreciate it. <clears throat> My only uh, public announcement is that I want to thank uh, the Pitkins Art and Culture Alliance. Last week, uh, I was called to come to their event by Emily McIntyre. And Emily, uh, Amelia. And, Amelia, I'm sorry, <laughs> as you were, I knew I was going to mess that up. Amelia. And uh, they were gracious to um, award us a donation of $1,000 for the schoolhouse. Wow. So I was super stoked about that myself, and uh, Linda attended. Uh, and we got money also for the mural out there for Dusty's uh, business uh, and Linda's been chairing that so they got received donations for that as well and I think it was like $14,000 overall or something like that in donations. In donations that they... <clears throat> A variety okay. of what, different what things. Yeah. A total, yes. Yeah. Total, yeah. yeah. Everybody, I think, got a thousand. Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah. So, uh, very appreciative of being a part of that. <clears throat> and I liked uh, what really was um, uh, that stood out for myself was the town of Talking Rock being invited uh, with the county. Mayor Lawrence was there, Commissioner Stansel was there as well. And so, being a part of that as the town of Talking Rock, that means a lot lot to me so again as I've talked about in the last couple of years bridging those gaps bringing everybody together getting the town of Taco Rock involved into the Pickens County and our other cities uh, I just appreciate that so much so thank you Emily and thank you for the arts and cultural alliances for that thousand dollars we're gonna work towards getting that we're we're piling it up we've got thirty five thousand dollars so we're keeping on 
getting as much money as we can because we're really that is one of the things that we're going to focal uh, be a focal point here in the next year or so is really transforming that and getting that schoolhouse back to uh, a beautiful state. So, okay. <clears throat> Next is we'll go over the approval of the November 2023 meeting minutes. Do I have a motion to accept the November 2023 meeting minutes? I motion that we accept the November 2023 meeting minutes. Do I have a second? <clears throat> All in favor? That's unanimous. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> Next on the agenda is the approval of the November 2023 financial report. As you look up on the screen, here's our five different accounts. And this says is as of today, our general operating account 323-97692. Our schoolhouse museum fund. This doesn't uh, show the thousand dollars I just talked about for our donation. We're going to deposit that. To, it got deposited today, but it actually be thirty-six thousand. Splash account is 18260, FEMA account 1800, and the American Rescue Plan Okay, do I have a motion to accept November's 2023 financial budget? I make a motion that we accept November's 2023 financial reports. Do I have a second? All in favor? That's unanimous. Thank you. Okay, uh, Jerry, just in time. Summer of maintenance. Jerry, what we got going on? Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and leaves and, just, you know, regular maintenance. Uh, uh, <coughs> I had to replace a uh, wax ring over at the park the other day. You know, just normal. Nothing out of the ordinary, huh? No. Okay. Awesome. Appreciate it. Okay. We'll move into old business uh, as we had promised last month uh, we have our heritage day close out just for the finances so everybody's aware okay <laughs> um, so heritage days as you saw before the budget is ten thousand dollars it remains the same for next year and we came in very close. We were uh, basically just over budget by a hundred some dollars. Um, primarily the, the income that we generate from Heritage Days is from sponsorships, from community businesses, and from um, all of our vendors. And um, every year we've been increasing the amount of vendors. This year we also had an increase in sponsorships. So we did a really good idea. A, a really good job of um, bringing in revenue. Um, with increasing the event, we also have more expenses. So that that's why we came in so close to budget. You know, I said that we have more vendors and more sponsorships, but more expenses as well. 
but um, we did a really good job managing all of that and, and coming out um, just a hundred dollars over budget so um, the recommendations for next year um, Mayor Bryant talked about this um, we're going to talk about it later too is the idea of possibly increasing the um, amount um, of fees that the vendors will need to pay for next year that will help offset some of the expenses and um, doing a better job of getting sponsorships from community businesses but um, we had a great event again this year and um, I think we're well on our way to having another good event next year too. We have vendors already signed up and um, you know the sponsors were happy and um, we had a great turnout so there's there's no reason to think that it's not going to be even better next year. Yeah, thank you ma'am. Uh, like Mary was saying I, I think um, I'm asking for feedback from the community please reach out to the uh, Don as our town clerk uh, on our social media on our web page give us feedback for any suggestions that you might have for improving uh, I would like to look at the possibilities of how we can increase revenue so we can put on uh, a better festival for everybody and also think uh, make sure that we're thinking that there's no constraints for the uh, town itself and we're always thinking about that from a budgetary standpoint so please any feedback comments questions anything please give that to us because all we're trying to do is continue to grow each year for our festival and make it bigger and better and beautiful as it is so that's what we do appreciate it so thank you so much all right so we'll go ahead and get into the new business uh, the first thing we'd like to do is present our donations to both um, the Pickens Animal Rescue and the Pickens Pregnancy Resource Center so if I could have um, Stacy come on up we'll go ahead and do the Pickens Animal Rescue right now and for the folks that are not aware of this, during our Heritage Days, we had our duck race, and uh, we were able to uh, make $550, as you were, let me explain that, $500 for the duck race, but then $50 for our face painting that Susie Bryant assisted with, so we were able to donate, increase it by $50 this year. Absolutely. We're tracking. So probably next year it'll be a little bit more. That's awesome. Right? Thank you so much. Okay. Up here. I'll let you hold this big one. <laughs> he loves to get right up on the close ones. Mary will get the one that's big. See, she doesn't come up there. Sweet thing. Do you have anything yeah. to say? Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. You can't get money. Our architect. Either way, I have your text. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You don't get to keep this. Appreciate it. Oh, here's your check, Stacy. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope that works out for you guys. Thank you. And we look forward to you guys coming back next year. Absolutely. Bring all kinds of puppies and kitties. and Yeah. We love it. We do love it. Exactly. That was from the duck race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we did that, that donations for the duck race, and it's been very successful in the last two festivals. Uh, everybody's screaming and hollering to get everybody over there to buy the ducks. Uh, my wife, actually, she's so such a saint. She's given the ducks away, and she doesn't understand we don't have any more ducks. So we lost a couple in battle, but uh, we'll get those back, and we'll make sure that we sell the adequate so we have the donations for them. It's super exciting, and uh, Dan Bergantini and myself, we're out there going crazy, getting every duck down there. No, actually, I'm sorry, my son did it this year, but... Uh, Dan did phenomenal, and it's great. It's great entertainment, and the kids loved it and stuff. So, let's work on getting a better creek next time. So, yeah. <laughs> that, so. all right. The next is the Pickens Pregnancy Resource Center. Mm -hmm. I'm Doug Von Barron. I'm the Doug. And volunteer with the Men's Ministry. Awesome. Great. Got a check ready. Okay. Awesome. Any words, Doug? Yeah, it was uh, my first year. I got to work both days. It was an awesome event. Got to interact with a lot of the community. 
I was sharing with the deputy there that um, I, I realized that a lot of the community all, already knows what the center does, the kind of services, but I also recognized a lot of the community has no idea. And it was just a great time to interact and look forward to being a part of it going forward. Awesome. Well, yeah. I appreciate it so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, round of applause. <laughs> super excited about is that there's so many different folks that put so much efforts into our town in all our events and uh, our meetings and just all around everything and so to be able to give back to the community as a, as the town I think that's an incredible thing hopefully in the future we can grow that even more in our donations uh, with our different events but I do really appreciate all the efforts um, to be able to give back to the community on that from from the town, so really appreciate that. And thank you very much. Okay, uh, next we'll move on to the vote of the 2024 budget. So that's the budget that we just had for the public hearing. Uh, you saw the budget, the council has seen the budget for the last couple of months. So I'm just gonna go right into it. We did not have any sustains or questions or comments during the public hearings. So at this time, do I have a motion to accept the 2024 proposed budget for the town of Talking Rock, taking effect 1 January 2024. I motion that we uh, approve the 2024 budget taking effect 1 January 2024. Awesome. Do I have a second? All in favor? That's unanimous. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, next is the library board appointee. Uh, so we have Janelle Childry here, Janelle. Um, she has volunteered to represent the town of Talking Rock uh, in the, am I saying this right, the Jasper or the Pickens County, Pickens County Library. Uh, and each one of the, both cities, Nelson and Jasper and Talking Rock have a representative uh, and they meet, um, when they do meet, they want to have uh, representation from the town. Uh, so we had put that out, and uh, Janelle was gracious to volunteer, so we're excited for that. Uh, she's met all the requirements, wrote a letter herself, and then I wrote a letter um, accepting and nominating her and recommending her as well. So um, is this an announcement or a vote? It's an announcement, yes, right. Okay, so I just wanted to announce, I appreciate Janelle stepping up and volunteering, so we look forward to working with you on that, so thank you so much. Anything you'd like to say? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, awesome. Again, that's just another thing as well, because I'll be honest with you, I was approached uh, this past uh, spring about it and I honestly wasn't aware of it. It wasn't one of the things that we had heard about in the past, uh, but I spoke with the library and the representative there uh, and the lady that had been doing it previously, she had done it for several years, but for some reason couldn't continue. So now, again, this is just another thing that we've done to improve the awareness and what we're doing to try to improve in management. And then uh, gracious enough to have someone within our community to step up and volunteer. So super stoked about the future on that. Okay, if there's no other questions, we'll move on to, um, we're voting on the roof repair, and uh, I'll have um, Don, if you could just break down those numbers and help me. So what we've done, while she's looking that up, uh, we've talked about it in the past, but we've done some renovations throughout the town. This next renovation that we have is the improvement for uh, the town hall itself. We've had severe leakage. This building, you guys know the history of this building. If you didn't know, the four walls of the building stood up for over 26 years at one time. No roof, no nothing. It was an old Coca-Cola factory uh, manufacturing uh, building at one time. So it's went through several things. And then um, uh, just in the last 10 years or uh, 12 years, it went over the major renovations that you see today. But it, it still has some issues with our roofing system. It leaks in a variety of places. We had four different um, uh, estimates. Some of them were not within our budget, but we just recently got one that I think will work well within our budget. So, Don. Uh, they will be replacing all the metal, any rotten wood, the parapet membrane, the boots, 
and that covers the labor at uh, 25,000. 25,000. Okay, any questions about that? Okay, do I have a motion to accept um, $25,000 budget to replace the roof on the town hall? I'll make a motion that we accept the $25,000 budget to replace the roof on the town hall. Do I have a second? All in favor? Okay, it's unanimous. Okay, the next one uh, was vote on a mold. Uh, re, uh, re mold repairs within the town hall again because of the uh, the way that the building is previously I talked about our septic system that we have to frequently get that uh, that needs to be uh, repaired and looked at I guess but just a combination of a bunch of things we have identified that we have mold in this building we've actually had it tested uh, and then we actually had an estimate for uh, repairing the mold during our working session uh, this evening, we've decided to hold off on that because we just approved to get the roof repaired in January, and uh, we will uh, see if we need to retest for mold to see where we stand before we go into uh, mold repairs. We have a repair right now of $6,000, 6175 and that that uh, estimate is good till February so I think it's best I think the council agreed with me is that we let's concentrate on repairing the roof first uh, seeing if there's additional tests need to be to see where we're at at that point and then if we have to look at doing those repairs for the mold we'll definitely do that because we have Don who works in here on a daily basis and they're at the fire department and everybody else who comes to the building so we want to make sure that we have safety but we want to make sure that we're doing it right for a budgetary standpoint, okay? Uh, next is the vote on our alcohol ordinance update. So this is one that we've continued to work on here in the last few months, and uh, we've talked to Seth uh, during our working group today, and we've decided to put this on hold because we're needing additional guidance on like, how we move forward on updating our ordinance if it needs to be updated, or uh, one of our businesses here locally requesting a variance. Uh, you guys might be familiar with this, but Blackwater Station, uh, this past year we had approved for them to sell alcohol, uh, but we have to make sure <coughs> through our attorneys, if we're doing this legally and correctly with um, either a variance, keeping the ordinance the same, or updating the ordinance to take effect for that. So that will be uh, pushed uh, Till we get that corrected, uh, hopefully we'll have that on our next uh, agenda council meeting for 11 January. Okay. All right. If there's no other questions, next on the agenda is the 2024 park and community rental uh, charge increase. Uh, for you guys that are not aware, any given day throughout the calendar year, the town rents out this community center, uh, as you can see, the kitchen area and that area in there, and we also rent out the park. And we have been extremely successful um, in this past year alone. Uh, we've did the updates to the park itself, and we've you know continuously uh, advertised openings. And we have several groups that uh, enter or that rent out the community center. We have uh, uh, a group of ladies that do it. Uh, is it monthly? Yeah, once a month. And then we've had uh, baby showers and birthdays. So we love to keep doing that. Um, but we've looked at our budget and uh, decided that we're going to head and increase it. Uh, we're going to increase uh, $50, or my recommendations for the park, $50 that it was originally increased that to $75, taking effect on 1 January. And I'll, I'll ask for a motion in a second for that. And then the community center, uh, which is the town hall, um, we had it at 75 and we're going to increase it to 100. Okay? So I'm going to ask a motion separately for those two things. So do I have a motion to increase the park uh, rental from $50 to $75 taking effect 1 January 2024? I make a motion that we increase the park rental from the fifty to seventy-five dollars. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? That's unanimous.
Do I have a motion to increase the community center, which is the town hall, from $75 to $100, taking effect 1 January 2024? I make a motion that we increase the rental for the town hall from $75 to $100, taking effect January 2024. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? That's unanimous. Thank you. Okay, uh, the next on the agenda that we had, and we talked about this in the working group, as we had stated previously, we're going to um, shift this to our next council meeting uh, for the increase for the booth rentals. I didn't do my job correctly. I should have researched what other festivals are doing. I just want to give more guidance as because as, I want to make it a more... Um, I want to have more information before I rec recommend this to the council. It's not fair to the council if I don't have that correct information. So I'm just curious to see other festivals and what they've done, what their prices are, and what they do. Uh, you guys, I will stand by this. I think our festival is, is better than most, and it's an amazing event. And um, I just want to make it effective and uh, easy towards the town and its budget and things like that so we can put on a fantastic festival. So. Uh, I've decided to push that off till next month. Okay, uh, lastly on the agenda for tonight, uh, we have the uh, uh, resignation of Mary Bergantini. Uh, Mary is only resigning uh, because she got, her and her husband Dan got their forever home. Uh, they uh, live in the Meadowlands subdivision. They just are in the process of selling their home. And they found a beautiful property that's two miles closer to our town hall. Uh, so <laughs> we're super excited, uh, but Mary is definitely not going away. That's why I don't even want to say it. But officially, uh, she put in a resignation letter a couple weeks ago, and uh, we accepted it. Uh, so uh, we had our Christmas party last night, and we told her that we absolutely loved her, and she was super awesome. But uh, on a serious note, she's been phenomenal. Uh, she's been rock steady every day since she's been on the council. Uh, a lot of suggestions and improvements, and she stays up every day. She's the one, the only person that really stays up on um, just every aspect when it comes to our social media. She works with Mary on that, but every day, you know, when I look at the social media, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. She's done so many great things to that. Uh, and then working within our council, working with Don and our fellow other council members, she's done an amazing job for that, and we can't thank her enough. Um, so, we appreciate everything. She's not going anywhere. She's going to be here tomorrow. She's so. Awesome. Okay, uh, before I close it out, do I have any comments, questions? Uh, what were the blues price last year? Uh, the booths were seventy for the Heritage Days, yes. seventy-five dollars. Okay. Yeah, 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 seventy-five dollars, and we had an increase in our booths uh, this year um, and other things. So, yeah, I just want to be comparable to what's around here. We look at Marble Festival, Apple Festival, and LJ, and some other festivals that are around here. So, we just want to be comparable to what we do. And that's the one thing that we've done. I just. I was, at, I was a part of the Marble Festival, and I saw all the great things that they do, and I still a lot of great things that they have and try to incorporate, and they work with us on our festival, and it's just growing. There's so many people involved in it, and just want to make it bigger and better, and again, as you see our budget for a small town, that's not a lot of budget, so we have 323000 in our operating budget, um, and we just want to make sure that we're not hampering on that thing because you never know what tomorrow is. Uh, damages. We just had a damage in the park with the water and we had to replace uh, lines that went to the septic system. Stuff that you can't avoid. And last year we had issues with the town hall and semi flooding based on the septic, you know. Um, and it's our obligation to keep uh, the, the buildings that we lease out. There's so many things. Tree that fell down and just so many other things that you know we you can put in a budget but you just can't anticipate those things but more importantly the theme that I've said for a year and a half now 
this town is going to grow without acreage, but grow within size. So as I talked about um, sidewalks, street lights, you know, these are the things that are going to make us stand out even more and it's going to rival our, our uh, communities that surround us and that's what we want. And so improving on the uh, schoolhouse and just bringing in the great um, folks from tourism into our businesses because they're blowing up and they're doing amazing. We're going to have a restaurant by the end of the year, uh, next year. A couple months. Yeah, there you go. We're going to have uh, <laughs> Dusty's business. So it's super awesome. I mean, we're really getting people down here, and uh, I love it. So we're, that's why we're going to look for other events that we can put on as a town. We just, we didn't even mention it, but we just received the funds for the sale of the two acres. So this spring, they're going to start building the fire station uh, up on the hill. And it's going to be beautiful. If you haven't seen that property and you can see the layout, it's just going to be phenomenal. But more importantly, it's going to provide that stability and, and um, the necessary of having a, a dedicated fire department. Uh, Commissioner Stansel is going to have uh, individuals uh, permanently there because it was volunteer. So they're going to have, um, uh, I guess I could say, Gonna have someone there all the time. It, either it's a paid employee or what. Yeah. So uh, I'm super excited about that. And I'm sure the the citizens or the townspeople are gonna be excited about that. The ISO rating will go back to normal rates, and I think it'll be uh, very beneficial. It's going to be beneficial for everybody. It also opens up our town hall for other opportunities we have within the town. So we're super excited about some of the things we've talked about. So yeah. We're, we're growing and we're moving. We're going forward. That's what I've said. Uh, I'm going to be the mayor for the next four years, and I'm going to get everything I said that I'm going to do. I'll get it done within those four years. That's an absolute fact. That's an absolute promise. I, I won't stop from that. So, Cool. That answer your question about the $75? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Plus, I'll take all the information out from you. Awesome. Anything else? Okay. Uh, again, thank you for uh, Pitkins Animal Rescue and Doug for the Pregnancy Center. I really appreciate you guys coming here. Uh, thank you so much for that. Our next council, uh, council working session will be Thursday, 11 January. It is not normally our uh, sessions are the first Thursday of each month, but uh, normally uh, people are still uh, on holiday from the 1st to the 5th. Uh, so we're going to bump that to the following week. So that'll be Thursday, 11 January at 5.30. That's the working group. And then the council meeting will be right after that at, at 7 o'clock. Okay. All right, do I have a motion Motion to adjourn this meeting? Motion to adjourn this meeting. Do I have a second? All in favor? Thanks, guys.